healthy hair grows from a healthy scalp. So today I'm gonna share three scalp care products or just things that I think that you should be adding into your hair care slash scalp care routine. So let's get right into it. Hey guys, welcome back. So like I said, yes, we're gonna be talking about scalp care and three things that you may be missing from your scalp care slash hair care routine. Of course, if you are an absolute beginner, you don't need to worry too much yet about adding in extra things into your routine. But if you're someone like me who's been looking after your hair for quite a few years now, these are things that you may be neglecting when it comes to your scalp. So as always, the products will be linked in the description, causes that need your help will be linked in the description, but more specifically, I'm gonna be adding links for you guys to contribute to earthquake relief in Haiti, as well as just humanitarian aid in Afghanistan. So if you guys can contribute, I encourage you to do so. If you can't contribute, at least share the links because um, these people really need your help. But let's dive right in. So the first thing that you definitely need for your or scalp and something you should be doing for your scalp is getting an exfoliant an exfoliator and you should be exfoliating your scalp at least semi regularly and I know it can be easy to neglect scalp exfoliation I neglect exfoliating my scalp all the time but I've talked about exfoliating in other videos I've showed you guys uh, some of these already but it's really important to exfoliate your scalp because not exfoliating after a very, very long time and when you're using so many products, especially products on your scalp, these products can build up, they can block your hair follicles, it can lead to the miniaturization of your hair follicles, and ultimately it can lead to hair loss and hair thinning, which a lot of us don't want. So exfoliating is really, really important. You can use a physical exfoliant, you can use a chemical exfoliant. I generally use the Christoph Robin Sea Salt Scrub. I've showed this a million and one times. I know it is very pricey, but it's a great scrub. Luckily, Sephora Collection recently came out with a scalp scrub as well. So if you're looking for a budget option for a physical exfoliant for your scalp, the Sephora Collection is a great option as well. There's one from Drunk Elephant. This is new, I haven't actually used it as yet. My mom literally just got it. But this is a combination between a physical exfoliant and a chemical exfoliant. It has AHAs, BHAs, and then it's a scrub. But again, I haven't tried it yet, so I can't really speak on it, but this is an option. And then there's also the Inky List. They have a salicylic acid scalp exfoliant. I haven't tried it because it's not available in Canada, but if you don't want to get like a physical scrub, that is an option in the Inky list. I'm personally a fan of them and they are pretty affordable. So those are all options when it comes to scalp exfoliation, when it comes to how often you should be exfoliating your scalp. Once a week, maybe once every other week is fine. Again, I know we can forget to do it. I forget to do it all the time. But if you're not exfoliating your scalp, I encourage you to start doing so. All right, this next scalp care essential is not gonna come as a surprise to any of you, and that is scalp oil treatments. Now, I've talked about this one from The Innate Life a million and one times. It's one of my favorites. I've been using the Fable and Main Holy Roots hair oil on my scalp for the last two, three weeks now. Really, really love them. They're great, but there are so many other hair oils that you can use on your scalp. I also talked about that in my um, South Asian hair oils video, as well as an entire video dedicated to pre-poos. But pre-pooing your hair or your scalp with an oil it can be really, really beneficial for not only your scalp health, but also just your overall hair health because they can encourage hair growth, they can maintain your current hair length, and a lot of hair oils are great for just being anti-inflammatory, balancing out oil levels on your scalp, sebum levels on your scalp, and a lot of them also can be antimicrobial and antibacterial. So if you're not already doing an oil treatment on your scalp and you do wanna grow your hair long and healthy, I definitely think you should start doing one. And this last one, again, if you're a beginner, you don't necessarily need to worry about something like this as yet, but I do think scalp supporting hair serums are great. This one's from Grow Gorgeous. It's their hair density serum. And then it's also the one from The Ordinary, which is a cult favorite. Everyone loves this, but these are great scalp support serums. Generally, you use these after you've washed your hair on dry scalp. 
they both advise that you use them every single day, especially if you are trying to regrow your hair, you've experienced um, telogen effluvium, which is just like stress-induced hair loss, or you're just experiencing hair loss and hair thinning in general. These are great options for that. I think they're really, really great for just maintaining your overall hair health, your overall scalp health, and also I've regrown so many baby hairs. Like these were really, like where did this come from? It regrew with the help of these serums. So if you are looking to regrow your hair or just maintain your overall scalp health, look into getting a serum. There are budget options, there are pricier options, there's an option for everybody. So definitely look into getting one of these. All right, so those are the three scalp care essentials that I think everybody should be using or could be benefiting from. If you wanna step up your scalp care game and you want your hair to be nice and healthy, definitely look into adding some of these elements to your routine. But yes, like I mentioned, everything will be linked in the description again. Haiti and um, Afghanistan humanitarian relief those will be linked below but yes that is it if you guys like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know that you liked it if you're not subscribed to my channel and you do want to see more videos kind of like this one please subscribe I would love to have you here you can follow me on Instagram if you want to you can check out my second channel that I occasionally post on if you want to but that is it I will see you guys in the next video okay bye